This is the star of the trail. So I'm what thinking. What you're saying is, is we sh I should get out now. No, because it's kind of it, it's a lot easier to drive up this than it is to walk. Well, it's another beautiful morning in Havasu. Getting the jeep ready to go on a little adventure. Going to meet my cousin Paul and take Brad with me. Um, pretty cool. I'll take you guys along. Got a lot more stuff to put in here. Got coolers to pack. And then we got about an eight hour drive to get there. We're driving the Jeep, of course. And uh, should be a pretty good time. It's been about, I don't know, eight or ten years. Nah, it's been longer than that. It's been like 12 years since I've done this trail. And uh, it's part of the John Muir Wilderness area. And uh, it's 32 miles of trail. It takes three days to do it. So. I'll take you guys along and share it with you. We made it here to our first fuel stop and uh, we're going to get a Wendy Burger truck on up the road. Brad should be about a half hour, 45 minutes behind us. I think he'll catch us because we're just going to cruise with the AC blowing cold. Love the uh, full top on the Jeep. Pretty awesome. So we'll get our fuel in. Just rolling along through the desert. About a hundred five degrees out. Temperature's running cool. AC's blowing cold. We're headed way up there on them mountains. All right, we've made it to Barstow, and uh, fuel is seven freaking dollars a gallon here. It's ridiculous, but. Uh, I got a little bit of oil leak at the transfer case. I'm gonna have to deal with that. The seal has popped out yet again. Um, can't seem to keep that rear seal in. It gets hot, it falls out. So I'll probably put a hose clamp and some wire or something on it. Anyway, uh, I pushed it back in with my fingers, but there's oil under it. It's got a little spot there, it's dripping. But uh, I don't know, oil all over everything. So we'll deal with that. A little bit of oil leaking out of the motor. But it uh, looks like I'm ahead of everybody. My cousin Tyrone just called me and Paul is behind me. And Brad is three hours behind me. So we're going to go find an auto parts store, get a couple little things, and then head on over to Bakersfield. Well, we've made it to Mojave. See a lot of airplanes over there. airport out here in the desert is a storage facility for commercial airlines. It's one of the driest climates in the world, so it uh, makes for good storage for expensive aircraft. Anyway, we've got about three more hours to go. Pretty sure Paul is behind me. Talk to Sergio, he's about an hour away from Shaver, and I believe my Aunt Pam has arrived in Shaver, so she was the first one there. I'm in beautiful Tehachapi, um, home of Al Letcher, my old torque converter guy. <laughs> Hello, Al. <laughs> anyway, um, my oil leak has kind of developed back is covered in oil and uh, I gotta wash that off cool thing is there's an O'Reilly's right here and a car wash right over there so to show you what's going on this seal this seal has pushed its way out and I'm gonna make some wires that will come around basically hold it in then we'll put two hose clamps together wrap it around that and hopefully I can clamp that in but it is stinking on the exhaust it is all over everything so I gotta take the car wash and clean it because it is making a mess also the valve cover under here is leaking in the corner I think I can fix that pretty simple though just by putting a little washer under the bolt and putting a little more pressure on it so I'm gonna pull this thing over to the side and uh, I'm going to uh, make that little wire cage, put the clamps on it, 
and get that fastened up and then uh, I'll fix the uh, valve cover leak and then I'm going to steam clean everything off and then we're going to keep on trucking. We're about 45 miles out of Bakersfield and doing good. I think we're still ahead of most everybody. like that. All we gotta do now is put oil in. Problem is, we don't have the right Allen wrench, so I have to try a couple of different things here and see if we can get this open. Get some oil in it. So I gotta go back inside. I gotta get a 10 millimeter Allen wrench and then uh, should be able to put oil back in the transfer case. Well, now we've made it to the car wash. It's a little bit dark, 30. We rolled into Bakersfield and caught up with this crew. You guys lost? We, we are lost, my friend. You're a long ways from Glendale. Oh, yeah. Look at our clamp of load we got going on. I like there. that. That's cool. I like the uh, tarp. That's a good idea. Keeps the dust out. What is this, Hunter? What do you got? This is my pride and joy. These kids. Well, like it won't shut off. Right now? Yeah, it's still running. Yeah. Push the brake. Oh, there you go. What the? Who knew, right? These kids a thing or two. Break. There you go. What the? Teach you a thing or two about a thing or two. Right. <laughs> well, we should we should be able to round the corners off that this week. Oh, yeah. The hoods are. Look at my hood latch. I'm proud of this. I built that bungee cord set up my own cell. That's actually pretty good. That's I built a hole right in it. The window, Clayton's going to have a hard time seeing out of his side. Oh, yeah. That's <laughs> what the uh, crack. But, uh, cool. Well, I guess uh, it's. Uh, oh, my God. Oh, look at those lights. I didn't even do anything. <laughs> it's shopping time, and well, don't push that startup button. You'll have to go push the brake. <laughs> Well, we've caught up with these guys. Hey, Merlin. What are you doing? Cleaning windows and going broke on gasoline. <laughs> diesel. Yes, sir. How about that expensive diesel? What are you doing, Joe? Cleaning the California off your windows? Yeah. Well, we just paid way too much for fuel, but we had to have it, so we're going to head on up the road. Well, Michelle and Paul got this really nice cabin because their original cabin got canceled so it had plenty of beds and room for everybody um, a lot of trees Paul and Hunter are down there getting ready I think I'm pretty much ready I'm gonna go up and meet my aunt so my aunt Pam I invited her to go along on this trip um, she uh, she was married to my uncle Jesse so he was the one who uh, basically uh, that flatbed came from and uh, yeah we're gonna run up here and I don't know that we'll top off with fuel I think Paul's got to get a little bit of fuel I've got plenty of ice but uh, I think we're ready for a three-day uh, cross-country adventure on this trail we'll bring you along it's getting real now I've met up with my aunt Pam <laughs> And uh, my truck over here. Yeah, okay. And uh, Paul just pulled in. Brad's here. And uh, we got a couple of rigs to unload, and then we're heading up the trail. So, yeah, good times. We already put the drive line in, so that's good. Oh, you did? Yeah, you think I, I'm overloaded? These guys brought the kitchen sink. <laughs> they really did, Brad. Yeah, yeah. That's perfect. I think I'm going to get rid of some of my stuff and use theirs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. So that's the worst part of this trail. 
It's so hard to pack for three days with nothing. No access to anything and everybody overpacks. So you try to team up with people. I teamed up with Brad and Joey and uh, I think we have I think we have everything we need. So should be a good time. Just trucking up the mountain here. We've made it to McKinley Grove. Bunch of big redwoods here. Let's go see if we can cut one down. You get your saw. You got your saw with you. I was thinking maybe your 12 inch chainsaw blade wasn't going to work. <laughs> it might be a little bit up. How about that one down there? Things as big as your house. I bet that could, that one tree could build a house. What are you on fire, Paul? It's uh, the transmission self-leveling currently. Self-leveling. Self yeah. You overfilled it for hell and back. And I did. Now we're back. Getting rid she's, of some. She's puking a little. <laughs> yeah. Pretty amazing here. That is a big tree. What do you think, Clayton? You got you got some timber there. Look at that. How many toothpicks do you think you could make out of that tree? I don't know. There's a lot of board feet in that right there. <laughs> Do the <math>. It's <laughs> yeah. pretty cool. This is amazing country, man. Yeah, it's beautiful back up here. Wow. Well, we're just approaching Courtright Reservoir. There's a little spot here where you got a one lane road across the dam. And I thought the lake would be a lot higher this year, but it's pretty low. This is the beginning of the Newsy Urshan Michelle. This is I see that. This I next little that. rock is called Chicken Rock. Do you oh. know why they call it Chicken Rock? Because I'm going to get out and be a chicken. That's right. It's <laughs> That's... not because it's not because there's actually chickens here, but because <laughs> you may want to get out. So, looking in here, you may think that we have a problem with snack foods. It looks like and uh, we might actually yeah, but. <laughs> do you want another donut <laughs> i mean we've got chips and <laughs> you guys, we've got look you guys, i do have carrots don't hey, help oh still. you still have no. the carrots yeah, from last I'm night them. grapes, grapes. Yeah. you're eating grapes yeah we're eating, eating healthy good and healthy well this is the star of the trail so i'm what thinking what you're saying is, is we sh i should get out now no because it's kind of it, it's a lot easier to drive up this than it is to walk yeah but saying. i gotta film it well, got to film outside footage, Merlin. All you got to do when, when we start up this rock is just turn that camera sideways out your window and you'll see the trees go like this. <laughs> is this the part you're talking about? This is not the big long one. No, but the part that you said that you can't climb up by your feet. Yeah, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't want to climb that. Are you? <sighs> I'm filming. I'm going to go look at this. <laughs> She's checking it. She's already... I'd be gurgling. problems. Yeah. I wouldn't even worry about it. It's it's gurgling because it's relieving the pressure from the cylinder head gasket that's <laughs> leaking. <laughs> you know that uh, <laughs> shell that we have behind it. Yeah. yeah. It's a good thing there's lots of water up here. Yeah. We're gonna we're yeah, gonna be refilling our jugs. In fact, the, when we empty your gas can, we're filling it with water and tying it to this like jeep right here <laughs> poking some holes in it yeah easy access it is going to be our water uh savior so yeah she's got i used to have one of those but 
It doesn't the have a milk bag tank yet. that you take no. off, put okay. water in it, and just have pump air. Oh, in and it. you pump it, the or you just have air to Oh, you just put air pressure in it. Put devil. Devil. That's how I used to have to do no. sometimes. Get up Here's to the borean all the way up the top. I'd have to halfway up, get out and miss my radiator. Hose the radiator down. Actually, that worked pretty good. Yeah, had a miss running, and then I could have cooled it off quick. What happened to the mirror? <laughs> um. Yeah. Yeah. Spencer done a doozy when he rolled up. Yeah. Well, it's on the doozy now, yeah. so it's gonna it's <laughs> it's a doozy for a doozy. So we're gonna start up Chicken Rock. I says, just don't kill your passenger. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's good advice from yeah. dear old dad who is the passenger <laughs> so this is chicken rock see the angle of them trees over there I used to have a little flat fender Willie's Jeep and it just wheelied all the way to the top of this thing Definitely makes you think about how you load your Jeep because it's steep. I'm staying you, in. You know what can be done. <laughs> I'm staying in. Just thought I'd stop and film this little squirrel. He is having a snack. In fact, he's kind of he's kind of posing for the camera. Anyway, we're. Uh, Getting in here a ways now. This field of marbles here as I install the engine. Um, we are uh, winding down into the canyon, uh, basically the Corright Reservoir. And uh, we'll run along there for a little ways, try to stop for lunch before we start up Thompson Hill. But uh, Thompson Hill is where it really gets western, if you know what I mean. <laughs> so far we got everybody back there, Hunter and everybody's doing really good. Brad's, Brad's Jeep's doing good, so we'll just keep uh, showing you the highlights. Are you guys holding up? You're you're digging it. I know. How's the Jeep? How's the transfer it's doing case? Okay. Transfer, yeah, transfer case. case that helped a lot. Yeah. We're still getting a little warm, but a little warm. Well. We're gonna have to cool off before we hit Thompson Hill. That was a good little. Yeah, we'll cool off here because we're gonna have lunch here. So. Yeah, I heard that bump or whatever you smacked back there. I was like, wow, that was kind of loud. We can probably get rid of that gas too. I think I've got room for it now. When you clunked on that big one, yeah. I looked at Paul and he's like, 35, oh, yeah. <laughs> but I think 30. I got to do it better than you. <laughs> well, uh, here comes the, the red fire truck. Oh, barely opens. Yeah, it opens still though. What happened? Mm -hmm. We found a rock or two. Them steps are starting to start to point up. How's this side? How's this side? It's good. I take care of my side. Do you? 
Yep. You spot you spot your side. I think clearly his head's hanging out the window. Well, you know what? These are just kind of like feelers anyway. You're just feeling yeah. your <laughs> feeling your way. So Those are pointed to, in the right direction now. Yeah, they're about to break off of there. Bend them back down. You want them up? Yeah, we're it, yeah, it gets worse from here. <laughs> so uh how much room we got over there? Uh you there's, can... there's a camera, lean it out there. What's the I remember it being wider. <laughs> Me too. I don't know if the Jeep was narrower or uh, what happened, but that was kind of narrow. So we're working our way back through the trees here, and we're just starting the climb on Thompson Hill. So Thompson Hill is one of the most difficult parts of this trail. And it basically, in a mile, 1.2 mile, it takes over an hour to do it you climb 2,000 feet in elevation. So once we get to the top, I'll show you the view or if we have anything exciting happen. But uh, I'm not gonna do a lot of filming of just driving up this rough hill because it's hard to stop. Once you get your momentum going, you really just wanna go for it. So. We just landed near the top. We're covered in dirt. We pawed <laughs> we and scratched. We, would be. <laughs> we pawed and scratched. We're checking our program out here. We hit a couple rocks. <laughs> Have we got some gnarly stuff? Uh, nothing, nothing too bad. crazy. I, there's a lot of powder on that cover, but we're gonna walk back down the trail here and uh, we're gonna catch Cousin Paul coming up the trail. I gotta get a drink of water. I'm out of breath after that and I wasn't even walking, I was driving. <laughs> but yeah, we bashed and smashed and crashed. And uh, honestly, we did pretty good. The trail, the trail right here, this section, this is probably the roughest I've ever seen it. These 40 inch tires people have been bringing up here nowadays have pawed boulders out. It's pretty brutal, so hike back down this this is the trail we're on here it's pretty crazy amazing a jeep will even come up through this stuff i'm pretty sure hunter is going to be on a yankum rope i think so too but yeah that's the trail right there that's that's option b over there where pam is and option a right here so but yeah we have two spots we got hung up pretty good in I think Paul's wheelbase is going to help him, but I think these rocks are going to get him high centered. <laughs> what a rough mess. So you see Brad right down there in the trees. He's not very far from us, but he is so far from us. Oh, oh yeah. He has no idea. So Brad, Brad's coming up right there. I don't know. I got rocks everywhere. He's, he's right in there somewhere. Um, he is pawing his way to the top. Paul is down around the corner here, hooking up to Hunter, it looks like. And uh, I don't know. What do you think? You think about another half hour they'll be up here? <laughs> <laughs> Let's bet sodas on it. <laughs> I say 30 minutes. 30 minutes. Here, let me look at my clock. <laughs> yeah, check the time. We'll see. Because honestly, they're you know brad brad's got a couple of things to get through right there and then it kind of starts to get ugly the good thing about brad brad has a huge advantage with his jeep because he's narrow that little cj is narrow so it fits between a lot of stuff but uh i, I don't care how you slice it this is just an ugly little 
sluice of rocks here and uh, it will test you and we have had perfect weather like it's like 68 70 degrees little tiny breeze just just been beautiful all day up through the trees so it'll be a little chilly tonight I'm sure but it usually is this way you can try it that way but you'll probably go this way easier try it once you're there driver come, come driver and rub that rock just just rub it with your tire yep. passenger yep Brad's a little frazzled. He didn't even want to stop. He wants to go to the top. He's tired of letting his Jeep cool down. I don't know what's going on down here. I see Hunter in the trees. I do not see Paul. So we'll check in with them later. What do you got to say about this hill? It's a booger. <laughs> it's a tough one, isn't it? It's a booger. It's fun. And it's not super technical, but it's loose. And it's, you spin the wheels and instead of climbing, they sink. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's, it's pretty tough. It takes some serious driving and spot. Nice. There we go. Half of it's gone anyway. Holy shit. I came up that with 35 inch tires pulling a trailer with four people in my Jeep one year. What kind of a trailer? Yeah, exactly, right? It was Why? A trailer, it was a trailer I made to haul all my gear. Oh, all wow. the gear for four people. And uh, was that fun? It was uh, 
It was interesting. <laughs> How long did it take you to get up there? About the same. Oh, yeah, it was tough, but we made it up. But yeah, we're almost to the top. It kind of smooths out here in a minute. That honestly wasn't as steep as I thought it was. You were freaking me out. I'm good. I'm glad I was scaring you, you because were. uh because it wasn't quite as bad as I thought it was going to. See, be. so so you didn't have any anxiety. I've got one in the jeep. I did just barely. <laughs> well, we've made it to camp. So caught up with Sergio. Sergio Hello. left. What time did you guys leave this morning? We left at 10, about 10 after 10 this morning. And you were camped at Voyager Rock we're at Voyager above Rock. Uh, Courtright Reservoir yes. with broken Jeeps. Yeah, that's why we, we got up at 7 and we were welding until about 9, packed up, and then we left at 10. So when we pulled in, Sergio said we were about 20 minutes behind him. Probably not, probably like 10 minutes, yeah. <laughs> So we've been trying to catch them all day and we've been asking people along the trail if they saw two, two lone Jeeps and they're like, yeah, they're about an hour ahead of you. <laughs> so <laughs> these guys putted along pretty good, but yeah, we got a campfire going, got TV dinners going, camps all set up. So we're going to uh, hike down and we'll show you this beautiful lake right here. watching them their woods. Well, we woke up to about 35 degree weather. Yeah, it was a little chilly. It was pretty nice though. Clayton, he's uh, liking the camp spot. Yeah, beautiful. So this is East Lake. We're uh, all packing up now. We're all in a group together. Caught up with Sergio and them last night. We've all kind of lightened up and our Jeeps will ride a little taller. We'll have more ground clearance. What do you say, Hunter? Did you sleep good last night? Oh yeah. It's pretty tough to see through those with the caps on. I was like wondering, I'm like, did I break them or what? <laughs> I got the lids on them still. They're what good. do you see? What do you see down through there? I don't know. Trail signs, a bunch of rocks more rocks a whole lot of nothing more rocks well those will be good when we get up on top 10,000 foot mark we get above the tree line you can see quite a ways well so we're winding through the trees here it's pretty tight yesterday we hit one about threw Aunt Pam out of the jeep but uh yeah it's really pretty up through here this is where Sasquatch lives <laughs> I think so too I bet you there's a squatch in them there woods. But yeah, we're uh, we're to the halfway point on the trail now. Um, we just started our morning day two, and uh, the good thing is today's a short day as far as in the jeeps, so that'll be good for everybody. Yesterday was kind of tough; it was a long day, but. Uh, We'll stop and share some of the sights along the way as we go.
Well, we've wound our way down around over the river and through the trees to this cool little meadow right here. Oh, we'd stop and stretch our legs. Or no. What do you got, Hunter? Got an overheat Jeep? Just the usual. No, it's we did good yesterday. I think we just got to put some more. Are we running too fast today for the old I Jeep? I hit 25 just right there. How'd that feel? It was awesome. It was kind of cool. It was cool, amazing. Huh? 20, 25 thing. miles an hour. <laughs> yeah, she's gargling. We're going to cool her down. Yeah, he was he was pretty proud. He hit 25 miles an hour right there. Yeah, that was the <laughs> fastest part of the whole trip by far. Yeah, Did there's. You see that rub right back there? Uh huh. Yeah. There's got to be some. Right got to be some deer up here. What are we doing, Matt? Where are we going? We're here at uh, Ursham Lake. Ursham Lake, the journal. <clears throat> Anybody leave anything? Spider. Little dead spider. That's just a bag of bags. Patch. Look at the berries here. Huh? Said I wouldn't eat those. Why? Some of the, you can eat those? Why not? Someone had a margarita. They're poisonous? Maybe. I don't know. Don't be scared. Um, what do we got? LA crash please. Well, that's kind of cool off the end. High Sierra crawlers. Told you there's lots of beer cans. Oh. Was how was that berry? It was good. Was it really? Put this is the journal. I don't have one. This is our signing book. Litter everywhere. Who's been here? 2020. That was started in 2020. Well, I can tell you, I haven't been here in forever. 2022. 20 dirt bikes. Wow. That's kind of cool. Riding solo. Really? That's kind of, that's kind of cool. Hmm. Cool. Yeah, the, high top, the high top bar. Yeah, high top bar there. Got a bench over there. A couple benches. It's kind of tipping over, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, look at that bench. Yeah, that carved out log bench there. It's kind of a cool camp. Yep. <laughs> Doesn't suck. Ursham Lake. Well, I wished I had more action, but, uh, these camps are all starting to look alike. This one is uh, Mallard Lake where we stopped. And uh, we got an old beat up picnic table here. That should be uh, kind of sketchy to use, but I remember years ago when it was in good shape. A little fire, somebody left us some firewood, that's good. Somebody cut some seats out in that log, that's kind of cool. We got a couple logs here, we might need to split up. But uh, yeah, we'll hike down to the lake here in a little while. Down this little foot trail. And uh, I don't know, maybe we'll catch some fish. See what happens. Everybody's just kind of had enough for one day. It kind of feels good to be here early, doesn't it? Yeah, not too bad. See if I don't get skunked like the last lake. Yeah. So, Joey, he went around with his fishing pole and he didn't get a fish. Paul and them caught a couple. Clayton, I think, caught a couple. So we're gonna cook them up. Uh, we'll, uh, yeah. I thought you were on the phone for a second. 
Listen, kid. I thought you were actually talking to somebody. I'm like, what the heck? How is he doing that? <laughs> you thought I had service. I'm here talking to my people. Was, so Hunter, Hunter's having withdrawals. He's I was about to steal your phone. He's yeah. having cellular phone withdrawals. What are you doing? You got any service? You got any bars? No, I don't got nothing. SOS. <laughs> well, at least your Jeep's running. Should be so SOL. Yeah, right. Tomorrow morning. When we get up and roll on up the hill, your phone's gonna go. How far? I was. Looking, how far? You're gonna have. I was looking have, on Onyx. Okay. So. How far? Just right up onto there, Mount. Probably about right in here. About right in there. How how treacherous is that right it's there? It's not. It's not. So why couldn't I just? I'm good on fuel. You could go by yourself. I could go by myself real fast. <laughs> I've got half a tank left. Listen, That's maybe how many yards listen, do you think that is? Your girl, your girl is gonna be there. That's not tomorrow. even a mile. <laughs> I could just drive over <laughs> there and I could be back for dinner. <laughs> These kids nowadays, all they think about is I know, their, I know we're their pretty cellular I know, connection. I know. What is that? I'm just Gen using, Z? Are you Gen Z? I'm using logic. Okay? You're not using logic. I am. It's Because if you were far. using logic, you just wouldn't even worry about it. And you'd deal with her tomorrow. Well, why deal with it tomorrow when you could do it today? Oh, Don't my procrastinate. Goodness. Oh, my goodness. So, yeah, Hunter, he had a little weld situation here. He broke his steering. That's held up pretty good. Other than that, you know he's knocked all the steps off the but one he's kept the driver's step i've been good on my side i bent the fender back here the... this side this side not so good he's got he's got clayton daddy's step just all but ripped off the back part's ripped off there it is right there that's just yeah what'd you bend my fender the, the flare there. Oh, you got it good. What'd you do? Hit a tree? I bent it back too. I, I don't know what. Yeah, that's a tree. There's that's a got tree things. bark. Yeah. Well, it's kind of a white Jeep to be coming through here. It is. He rubbed the tires and stuff quite a bit, I'm sure. It's well used. Yeah, well, what did you name the Jeep? I haven't named it yet. We left that up to the people. I think the people Maybe. should go on yeah, there I and call it people. Over Easy. Over Easy? Because it's been rolled over. It has. It is so over easy. You could call it over easy because it had. You know, when they go over hard, it totals them out. This exactly. is over, over easy. easy. I see. Right? I like over that. easy. How, how, how do you like your rollovers? I like them over easy. Over easy. <laughs> <laughs> I like my eggs like over that. easy. I like that. Oh, pretty awesome. What are we? Uh, what are we testing here? He said it's not that hot, but I have the wrong color of skin to believe him. I, I live in southern Utah. And what's on the menu here? What it, What are we? Uh, these are tacos. What is, that, tacos. what is this green stuff I'm eating? That's jalapeno sauce. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. He said. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. What do you got cooking over here? What's this? Looks like cheese. This yeah, is grilled cheese. Bad. Grilled cheese. Oh, yeah. Is it hot? And you just grilled yeah. those tacos. <laughs> yeah. It's hot. Is it hot? It's yeah. Hot. I mean, it kicks after. Yeah, it's it got kicks some after. Kicks. It guys a little after kicks. <laughs> Clayton. Yeah. What, are we, what do we got on the menu here? What are, we, what are we grilling and cooking here? Okay, so we've got lamb. We've got Dutch oven potatoes. Let's check them. Right here. Probably need a little more heat under them. We don't eat spicy food over there like yeah. yeah, we got bacon and onion sauteed in the Dutch oven. And then what do we got? Michelle doesn't like lamb, so I'm cooking her some chicken. And then we have. See, I love it. Now it's going to be on both That's channels. Michelle. That's right. Michelle, we have. At least, she's, at least she's not eating Twinkies. <laughs> at least I'm not pounding the Twinkies. Then we have some elk. <laughs> we have some elk over, over there. We're going to cook on this the one. Open grill. Okay. When they do their chorizo and their stuff. Nice. Because their, their meat is good looking too. All right. Lift yeah, I your think, uh, uh, Dutch oven up. The Dutch oven's getting some more heat right now. Paul's stirring it up. Why does it keep smiling when we ask him what kind of cheese that is? No, it's not a cheese. It's a freaking oh, jaw cheese. I, they will never really eat good. this if I eat. No, trust me, we wouldn't eat anything. Yeah. Like that. What is so that? That's Mexican cheese. It's really I Mexican cheese. Quit smiling cheese. and tell me what kind of cheese that is. It's, it's Mexican. probably goat, right? It's probably goat. 
No, it's not goat. No, no, no. It's not goat. They're arguing over the cheese. They think it's goat cheese. What do you think, Brad? This is, this is kind of nice. We don't have to cook tonight, and we're going to eat like kings. We are. Yeah. Like, if you last go, night was good, but I yeah, think tonight's, tonight's going to be better. Yeah, it's not going to suck. Tonight's going to have some good option. <laughs> I, uh, I love it. So, yeah, we probably won't let you know how dinner is. It's going to be dark here in a little bit, and we'll check in in the morning. Oh, and Hunter, he's MIA. He found cell phone service somewhere, and he has touched base with his girlfriend finally. We think. We think. He could be lost. He could be broke. Hunter could be at my truck. He knows where the keys are. We may be on our own. <laughs> Well, I tried to sleep out on the ground last night, but uh, I woke up to this white stuff falling. Yikes. I was able to drag myself into Aunt Pam's little tent that she had set up and uh, get out of the rain. There was lightning hitting the ground. It was pretty crazy, but yeah, this snow... <laughs> It's just made the doozy a whole lot more interesting. And it's still coming down a little bit. So it should be pretty fun today. What are you doing over here, Brad? Melting some snow? Making some coffee. <laughs> Where'd you bring us, Merlin? <laughs> Dude, the weather could change at any minute. You know that sign as we were coming up the hill that said chain carry chains at all times? <laughs> I forgot you, my chains. <laughs> you never know when you're going to need them. I'm just glad I brought my buddy heater and my teepee. <laughs> yeah. The thing is, is uh, we don't want to be here much longer. Like, we want to get the hell out of here. because It's probably going to snow all day. I told Joey, I said, let's get picking up because uh, it's either going to get worse or it's going to start raining when the sun comes. <laughs> the tries coming out. Yeah, it's... Uh, Kind of cool. What are oh, we cooking? No, not that damn thing. We cooking snow? Yes. That is ready for you to Ooh. jump in it. Esta bien. Si. Una tortilla para burrito. I like it. Well, so they're cooking breakfast. Clayton and Luis. They've done a good job at cooking. Those guys, they, we got to bring them more often. You sure? Pam, she's had enough. She's gonna go have a breakfast burrito and then she's like ready to heifer. I'm all right, we can sit under a tree. Think yeah. about Christmas presents. <laughs> yeah, I'm all in. Brad, a little snow? Little, this is good. <laughs> it good. keeps it warmer. Good for dry. what? <laughs> so this tarp thing on top, this is gonna stay? We're gonna ride like this today? This, no, this is coming off. Oh. That's coming off. That was just uh keep the seats from getting wet last night. Yeah, just a little bit in case it rained. Yeah, my seat's getting good and wet. Yeah, it's it's guarding it right now. Nah, it's not too bad. At least they're vinyl we have seat not... heaters. Yeah, yeah, that's true. You do have seat heaters, huh? So we can sit in a puddle when the <laughs> snow melts. <laughs>